Hi, my name is Ashish and in this video we will see Reset the ADFS and the Azure Trust. How to reset the ADFS and the Azure Trust? So, let me just quickly log on to the server on which I have the Azure AD Connect. I will show you, it will be a very short video for uh, to do this. Alright, let us quickly do it and get it done. So, I am logged on to the server. So, double click on the Azure AD Connect icon that you see on your desktop. Click configure, select manage federation here. Next, now it says reset manage Azure AD Trust. Next, click on password. And it will click on. Now it says update Azure AD and ADFS Trust. Second option is reset Azure AD and ADFS Trust. Click on here, click on next. It says Azure AD Connect keeps your uh, Azure AD relying party trust current with the latest recommended settings, we will remove your existing Azure AD Trust and then recreate it so that it is up to date for the deployment. Certificates, configuration settings and other trust in ADFS will not be altered and no downtime is required. So, if you are doing it in your prod environment, if you get a query from the client or from your team or from your management, please mention that there will be no configuration changes whether it comes to certificate or any other components that you selected while configuring the ADFS federation in Azure AD and there is no downtime required. What it will actually do is it would it would back up any existing Azure AD relying party trust, it will remove the existing Azure AD relying party trust and it will recreate the Azure AD trust for all the Azure AD domains that are configured to use the federation service. Click next, enter the Azure AD Connect require ADFS administrator credentials to configure federation services on the on-prem domain. I will do this. Azure AD Connect requires ADFS administrator credentials to configure what are my ADF set Mr. credentials? I think I don't remember those ADFs. It is validating. It worked. Glad I remembered those. Okay. Once you click configure, we will do the following backup and reset the Azure AD Trust. Click on configure. Verifying the configuration, updating the Azure AD relying party trust. The claim rules and settings of your previous Azure AD Relang Party Trust have been backed up. And if you see the location, this document you get, my exit, click on exit. All right. And then you can move further ahead and test. I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any further queries, Please mention them in the comment section and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Have a good day.